What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Sank815, and I'm back with another video. Y'all new to that channel? Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, share, comment, get notified when I drop these videos, man. Today is a reaction video to Cat Williams um, reacting to P. Diddy. Um, I guess the Tupac situation. Um, man, thank y'all for the subscribe. Thank y'all for the love. Thank y'all for the comments. Thank y'all for the shares. I really appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that share button. We on the road to try to get 9,000 subscribers. Let's see if we can do it. Uh, yeah, man. Let's get into it. Y'all let me know what type of videos y'all want to see, too. Celebrities, rappers, anything. You let me know. Dangerous cities, whatever. Let me know. Nobody shot him. I believe nobody shot him. And if nobody shot him, that's the same nobody that shot Tupac. Uh, as you mentioned, this case has been going on for 20 something years, unsolved. But in Nevada, there is no statute of limitations on. After Tupac got killed, Puffy allegedly gave the money. I heard. To, to Zip. Yes. And Zip was supposed to give the money to, mm. to Keefe. <laughs> A few weeks ago, the Las Vegas Police Department randomly executed a search warrant in relation to the 1996 drive-by murder of rapper and actor Tupac Shaker. The residence is owned by a man who has been identified as a suspect in the murder of the rap star by the investigators and whose nephew they have known for some time. The Henderson, Nevada search warrant was carried out, according to a statement from the Metropolitan Police Department of Las Vegas. But when it comes to whether or whether they plan to make an arrest in the rapper's nearly 30-year-old murder, the police have remained mum. According to information that has reached us, renowned comedian and actor Cat Williams is once again on Diddy's case and has warned the music mogul that he might as well go to jail for the murder of Cat, for which he has been a suspect ever since it happened. The first responding officer on the night Tupac Shakur was shot here in Las Vegas is weighing on the renewed homicide investigation. Williams and Diddy have fought in the past, with Williams apparently telling Diddy that men won't take him out and Williams allegedly turning down Diddy's overture. Seeing Diddy Combs, a co-founder of Bad Boy, is among those who are understandably freaking out over having a possible role in Tupac's murder. The residence that was recently searched was connected to the wife of Dwayne Kepi D. Davis, a self-described gangster and the uncle of Orlando Anderson, one of Shaker's well-known foes and a longtime suspect in the rapper's murder through public records, including voting records. Two years after Tupac's passing, Anderson, who at the time denied having any involvement in Shaker's murder, was assassinated in a gang shooting in Compton, California. After Pac's death and the subsequent inquiries into it, a number of stories persisted, leading to the conclusion that Diddy had hired hit men to kill the singer of Dear Mama. The back. The Dre. Orlando. You shot me. Two months. According to a copy of the search warrant obtained by the Associated Press, detectives seized several computers, a cell phone, official papers, a copy of the March 2019 issue of Vibe magazine featuring Shaker, several 40 caliber bullets, two tubs of pictures, and a copy of Davis' 2019 memoir, Compton Street Legend. 20 miles southeast of the Las Vegas Strip in Henderson, Nevada, Witnesses said they saw police officers detain two people outside a one-story house as the investigators searched inside. <coughs> Although it has not yet been established whether the evidence found at the scene would connect Diddy to Pac's death, the record mogul is reportedly extremely concerned about this most recent development. The news of the search brought back the decades-old mystique surrounding Tupac Shaker's murder. Although no one has been apprehended, this case has received a lot of attention for many years. At the time of his passing, All Eyes on Me, Shaker's fourth solo album, had nearly 5 million copies sold. Because we were death row, and that's the life we was living. We felt like we was untouchable until that fatal... Until that the well-known rapper is recognized as one of the most influential and versatile rappers of all time and has received six Grammy Award nominations. On the fateful evening of September 7, 1996, Shaker was a passenger in one of the roughly 10 cars being driven by Marion Seg at night, the founder of Death Row Records. Shots rang out as they waited at a red light a block from the Las Vegas Strip when a white Cadillac pulled up next to them. 
Schenker was shot numerous times and eventually died while receiving treatment. Following a disagreement, Anderson, Tupac, and their pals had earlier in the evening at a casino, the incident took place. Homescape. The inquiry was halted, according to Las Vegas police, because certain witnesses would not cooperate with the investigation despite there being a high number of witnesses. Long-standing rumors claim that Diddy was successful in buying off the relevant witnesses and the law enforcement agencies. After receiving a cancer diagnosis, Keith B. claimed he was prepared to appear in public and confessed to being the driver of the Cadillac that carried the murderer in 2018. When he was being interviewed by BNT, he claimed that his nephew, Anderson, was one of the shooters. Keith claimed that the murderous gunfire originated from the back of the automobile, but he declined to name the shooter out of respect for the law of the streets. The former gang boss asserts in his autobiography that he informed federal and local police of all the information he had regarding a potential link between Tupac Shaker's murder and the drive-by shooting of the infamous Big in March 1997. Big was close friends with Diddy. In his autobiography, Keith D. said that they offered to free him in exchange for the truth regarding the killings of Tupac Shaker and Biggie Smalls. If I aided them, they would swear off the grand jury and destroy the indictment. When they both passed early in the mid-1990s, Pac and Biggie were at the center of the East Coast versus West Coast rivalry that had come to define the rap game. Tensions rose after Shaker was shot many times during a hotel robbery in Midtown Manhattan. The rappers refuted the allegations made by the Changes singer, who claimed that Big and Diddy were complicit in his attempted murder. It sparked a severe divide in the hip-hop community between musical rivals and their followers. We have difference in opinion. That's like me being mad at my little brother because he can't catch me. My, my Keith claimed that he went ahead and began responding to their inquiries concerning the circumstances surrounding Tupac's shooting. He claimed that I sang because they assured me I wouldn't face legal action, adding that he believed they were lying about the agreement. However, they stuck to their word and threw out the entire case while stopping the indictment. Nobody was in prison. It is uncertain if Keith has been residing in the house that Las Vegas police just searched and raided, or even if he was present. A warrant for his arrest in Las Vegas was issued in July 2022 as a consequence of his failure to show up in court regarding a drug-related accusation. I'm assuming that everyone in this room is familiar with Greg Kading, the LAPD officer who discovered fresh proof linking Diddy to Tupac and Biggie's deaths. So when we sat down with KPD, uh, myself, the FBI, uh, KPD's lawyer, we sat down and there was no proper agreement. Things started to go wrong for Diddy when Biggie's mother, Valletta Wallace, reopened the investigation into her son's death in 2006. Greg Carding, an LAPD investigator who discovered more than he anticipated, was sued by Valletta. In his verdict, Kading expressed the belief that there was a connection between the deaths of two of the most significant rappers in hip-hop. He learned information about the other incident while investigating Biggie's death. Detective Carding spent three years looking into the highly famous rap brawl between Tupac and Biggie and came to the conclusion that Scene Puff Daddy Palms had put a $1 million hit on both Tupac Shaker and his boss, Sidgman. Carding claims that the music mogul selected Dwayne Keith Keppy D. Davis, a member of the Crips, to perform the hit due of their close friendship in Los Angeles. In his verdict, Katie expressed the belief that there was a connection between the deaths of two of the most significant rappers in hip-hop. He learned information about the other incident while investigating Biggie's death. Detective Carding spent three years looking into the highly famous rap brawl between Tupac and Biggie and came to the conclusion that Scene Puff Daddy Palms had put a $1 million hit on both Tupac Shaker and his boss, Sid Schneid. Carding claims that the music mogul selected Dwayne Keith, Keppy D. Davis, a member of the Crips, to perform the hit due to their close friendship in Los Angeles. I've seen you take care of him and keep it like that's no problem. That's what we do. And so an agreement was made for KPD. But the plot keeps thickening. In punishment for his narrow escape during the murder of Tupac Shaker, Sitch Knight, the CEO of Death Row Records at the time, is said to have hired a Bloods gang member to murder Biggie Smalls. After attending a party organized by Vibe magazine, Biggie was killed by a hitman on his way home. Intriguingly, the documentary claims that Kef A.D., the hired assassin, and Knight both went to the same high school and saw Tupac's killer. Many individuals have always claimed that Diddy was to blame for Pac's passing, including some famous people and even fans. 
For instance, in 2018, the rapper Eminem nearly sparked a fight by attributing Diddy's death to Tupac. Before the release of Eminem's single, Kill Shot, a diss track directed at rapper Machine Gun Kelly, the two had been at odds. However, as M engaged MGK, he appeared to infer that Diddy had authorized Tupac's 1996 murder. Kill Shot, I won't let you down. I'm still with the doctor, but this moron's boss gives him drugs and tells him he's smart. Buckles, the day you release a hit is the day Diddy will acknowledge that he released the hit that killed Pac. On the track, the shadowy underworld boss raps. Some fans think that Eminem's subsequent admission that he is playing was meant to subtly expose Diddy's nefarious activities. Internet users have been debating Diddy's alleged plot to assassinate Pac for years. One of these fans, Keith B, tweeted that Diddy was to blame for his involvement in Tupac's murder and that he and Suge Knight had to give up their death row albums because of Diddy. <coughs> what makes you believe that what you have done to others covertly in the shadows won't get you as well? Goes a second saying, since Diddy is now being held accountable for something that occurred to Tupac years ago. Today, karma is more swift and direct and goes straight to hell. If you weren't aware, you are now. Mention your thoughts in the comment section below. If you liked this video, then share it to your friends and family members. Also, if you are a new viewer on our channel, then must subscribe our channel for more celebrity news, entertainment, and gossip videos. Thanks for watching our video. That's all for today. Goodbye.